Hi guys, uh, today we're going to create this retro looking aged Telecaster. It's a Tokai and it was, it's from 2010 so it's already 10 years old so the hardware is uh, already quite uh, nicely aged. Not ridiculously but uh, it'll do. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. As with any project, it's always handy to confer with the client, ask what they're looking for and if they have a reference photo, and try and work from that because that's obviously something that they have in their mind and that's what they would like to have as well. So here I'm just uh, marking out the felt tip pen, roughly whereabout I'm going to be relicking. So I'm going to start this corner here and I'm going to use all that I have. So I'm just prying here with a chisel to see how firm the paint is adhering to the uh, wood. And the idea here is not to gouge the wood but rather just to remove the paint. So a nice sharp chisel is uh, key and uh, slowly we go at it and I know it seems a bit of a sin to be purposefully uh, removing paint of a perfectly good guitar but hey that's what they want so there we go It's long and slow work, it's not easy, you can't just go scraping away. Um, so I'm trying desperately not to gouge uh, the wood out and just want to remove the paint. I'll come and refine the edges a little later. So here I'm scraping with a razor blade, but the edge of a sharp chisel will do just as well. But uh, I just find this gave me a bit more control just to this area here. Some more scraping and scratching, grinding. And uh, if you just follow the pattern that you've got ahead of you or in front of you, just take your time and it should all come good. Here I'm just referencing the uh, shots that the customer sent of what he's looking for. And it's always important just to keep that uh, in the back of your mind, just so that you have a goal to strive to.
Here I'm just starting to apply a little bit of dye just to brown this fresh wood a little bit. I'll come and refine that a little later. But this just gives me an idea of uh, where we're going. Right, well it's time to start with the neck. The customer wanted the neck basically bare of paint, just basic wood. Just using a block here, it can conform to the shape of the neck. And I'm just removing the paint and I'm stopping the sanding as soon as the wood starts appearing. I'm sanding with 220 initially. I'll come in, uh, come in with some 600 and some Scotch-Brite a little later. Here I'm just uh, feathering the edges with a bit of Scotch Bright. This neck also needed some fret dressing, so here I'm just busy with that. I'm not going to show this process. There are other videos that I've done uh, where the process. I had to recrown these all by hand because these were extremely skinny frets and none of my fret crowning tools would fit. Unfortunately, my camera wasn't filming me gouging the neck out. I just used a Dremel with a round tooltip and a mountain. And here I'm just um, putting some dye on the edges of the frets and I'll let that dry and then I'll just come and wipe it down a little later. While that we also shielded the scratch plate so here I'm just applying the foil and I'll ground that a little later.
So now I've just soldered the ground wire to the one of the pots. Just uh, gonna test for continuity and then And there we have it guys, a uh, bit of a relic, I'm sure the customer will like it. I hope you enjoy it, just take your time guys, don't overdo it or overdo it, whatever you like. Good luck, thanks for joining, if you like this video please click the like button, subscribe and we'll see you later.